lesser degree. Ryan Garcia, big left hook, blow up puncher, uh, back in the news two weeks after his victory over Devin Dream Haney, failed drug test. A sample comes back, failed. B sample just come back. We just got word that the B sample now has come back hot as well. What do you think about that? And how does that change uh, the landscape of the victory that Ryan Garcia scored over Devin Haney now that it's been confirmed? I don't know if you saw the Sean Porter text where Sean listed all of the various people and parties and the institutions whom Garcia has now blamed for the positive test. You told uh, me the devil yesterday. Yeah, and it, it's a long list. Uh, and my basic response is Vada doesn't lie. Vada's for real. Vada's a legitimate scientific research organization. They have done a great job of helping boxing to clean up performance enhancing drug policy. If Vada says that Ryan Garcia's A and B samples were hot, I'm saying they were hot and that has to be dealt with. Ladies and gentlemen, we never seen Ryan Garcia act the way he act leading up to fighting Devin Haney. Throughout the whole uh, training camp of the Devin Haney fight, the Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia fight, we never seen Ryan Garcia act with such erratic behavior we never seen Ryan Garcia mentally uh, fragile like that we never seen Ryan Garcia um, crazy like that We never seen Ryan Garcia insane like that in a training camp. We never seen Ryan Garcia behave like that. Like he was mentally ill. And then Ryan Garcia claims it was all an act. But guess what? It's not an act when Vada tested you for PEDs and the test came back positive. That's not an act. Not only did the A sample come back positive, now his word on the street is the B sample has come back positive also. So what that means? That means there's gonna be repercussions repercussions to you Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia you cheated. You cheated the sport of boxing You cheated greatness. You should be ashamed of yourself. You cheated Devin Haney. A guy who you wrapped your arms around in your in an earlier in your earlier youth days, who Devin considered you a friend in your earlier youth days. Y'all was bosom buddies kind of grew up together you cheated him you cheated you cheated your fans man you cheated everybody who was cheering for you who believed in you you cheated them you cheated greatness Ryan Garcia and last but not least the most important person you cheated you cheated your goddamn self you cheated yourself 
from greatness, bruh. When you won that fight, I was happy for you. I just wanted to see a great boxing match. I didn't have a dog in the race or who won, but I witnessed greatness that night. And I believed in you, Ryan Garcia. I saw greatness. But what I didn't know, I didn't know that you cheated. So all that greatness has been taken away. All that that win has been taken away now. You cheated, man. You cheated yourself. And you probably didn't need it. And I don't believe you needed to take steroids. But you didn't believe in yourself. You didn't think you could beat Devin Haney. That's why you was acting the way you were acting. If you would have fought Rolly Romero, I don't believe you would have acted that way. But you didn't believe in yourself, and that's why you took those steroids. Because you didn't believe. You didn't believe in you. You didn't think you was good enough to beat Devin Haney. You got to look yourself in the mirror. You looked yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not good enough. I can't beat this man. I got to cheat. I'm going to cheat myself. You cheated the sport of boxing, man. Why even box anymore? Why even box? You don't have no integrity for yourself. You don't have no shame for yourself. I'm not seeing all the bragging posts about how you beat Devin Haney now since everything done come out. Now, because it's hitting you now. It's hitting you hard now. What I see now is I'm a Suvada. That's the post I see now. It's hitting you. I don't care how many people cheer for you. I don't care how many losers, racist motherfuckers cheer for you. They know you look they are lo they know they losers and they know you a loser. They know you cheated. But they're such freaking losers they don't care because they have no integrity they're desperate to raise one of their own up high even if it means he cheated because that's how great the black athlete is that's how great the black athlete is and they know it they're scum with no integrity they know you cheated you would have to be born yesterday to believe all the BS Ryan Garcia's out here talking about oh it's a conspiracy oh everybody's out oh because I took a picture with Trump oh because I support Trump oh because uh, they ought to get me shut up shut up Shut up. You cheated and you know it. When you look in that mirror, you know you fucking cheated, man. Makes me sick. You didn't have to cheat. You could have beat them fair and square. I don't care what the reason was. If you wanted, you was desperate to cut weight. I don't care what the reason was. You liar. You lied. You lying. You been lying. You're telling all types of lies, man. 
You got people out here that believed in you, man. Didn't know you was such a scumbag, man. You got people who was inspired by you, man. Didn't realize how much of a scumbag you was. Damn. You're only hurting yourself more than anything, Ryan Garcia. You only are an enemy to your goddamn self. Big, big facts. Boy, you need to go repent. And stop playing with Jesus' name. You're playing with Jesus' name. You don't respect a higher power. You're playing with that man's name. You're playing with that higher spirit's name. You're playing with that God's name. Stop. Stop it. How long should the suspension be? Minimum two years. Maximum three or four. He did the most with this win. Oh, he did the most. The biggest upset in the last 20 years. He up here posting every day like he really did something. Posting, how, posting Devin Haney memes like he really did something. The goddamn steroids did it. You ain't do it. Your win has been null and void. Devin Haney going to get that win. Or they going to strike it off. The, they going to strike this fight off the record books. Off the uh, win-loss record. I don't know what they going to do. But he need to be minimum minimally banned for two years of boxing, man. With all his theatrics, he probably want to be a YouTube boxer anyway. I'm out of here. Peace.